Hello and welcome to Frank's School, 120th day, 6th year, first video. Hide your heads, go to the chopping block. <laughs> Hide your heads to the chopping block. Uh, what a mess. Well, it's going to get cleaned up real soon. I want to say I'm sorry about the lighting. It was in and out and in and out a little bit. I don't, my camera, eventually, it can't last forever. It could be that. In any case, why are they going to the chopping block? As far as I'm concerned, because there was not enough change. I'm not saying that they were wrong. Probably a lot of them, maybe all of them on here were right. But they did not make enough change, I feel, uh, in that long hiatus between 1970s and uh, the 2000 teens. Uh, and I, I'm, I eventually just ended up putting a bunch of terms on here. Uh, let's look at science, for example, first. Thermodynamics. Well, let's see, Oswald, Oswald I think, was the, the original guy, and then there was uh, Nicholas Georges Rogan. I don't know how to say his name, for example. They were right, uh, right down to Howard T. Odom. Uh, uh, he was right. Uh, but from that point on, uh, they, <clears throat> they kept hashing it around and hashing it around, but I, I really saw no, no, no development that was effective. Uh, in a way, it's not their fault necessarily. No one was listening. Uh, thermodynamics, uh, systems dynamics, uh, the science of, of studying systems. You know, I'm not going to explain these. I'm, I'm just going to basically say, you know, that didn't go away, but it's not a candidate for the cutting edge anymore. It's always been there but <clears throat> what to do now. So in the realm of thermodynamics, some of you see your systems dynamics. Well, you know, a guy like Dennis Meadows, I, I think he had done his master work possibly already by 1970. And uh, I, 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 I see no, could not find any particular change. A man like David Gates, I think he's dead now. Here's his book, Biophysical Ecology. I think he was great. I mean, he wrote the book on it, and I think that was 1980, I think that that came out, and it pretty much says it all. Uh, so, uh, good. I mean, I'm not condemning these guys in a way, they're just not candidates anymore for the cutting edge, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, David Gates. Uh, Robert Ayers was helpful for, to me. I contact Dennis Gates, I contacted him, he, he wasn't really helpful. <clears throat> industrial metabolism. When I found out that such a book existed, I thought, aha, maybe that's the book, and it's very good, uh, and, but not a candidate. It did not change, and Robert Ayers now lives in old, he's much older than me, he lives in Paris. He sort of tried to be helpful, uh, industrial metabolism, there it is. That ended up leading me eventually to what I thought was the cutting edge in Europe as a university, Alpen Adria University in uh, uh, Graz, I think it is, in uh, Austria, and uh, a, a new book uh, out by them, Social Ecology. I suspect that it's wonderful, it's expensive, it is the cutting edge, but as near as I could tell, it was not going to help, <clears throat> not, not help enough. Uh, you get into systems dynamics and, and you know, mapping uh, flows of materials, where have I got material flows analysis, uh, uh, Echopath, Echosim, I think they're the cutting edge, but they're not enough. Settlers of Catan, or Catan, Catan, I don't know. Uh, efforts, but, but not, not enough to, 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 be, to serve me anymore uh, for Hydra. Uh, uh, so systems dynamics, there was something about uh, yeah, systems theory. You see, eventually I just run into all these terms on you surely know that on Wikipedia, uh, you can see, if you go down to the bottom, you can say, see also. And if you check all these links out, you come up with all these terms. Uh, let, let's look at, uh, let's look at uh, uh, economics for a second. So, you know, circular economy, yes, yes, that's very good. Reconomy, probably very good. Uh, but not enough, not enough for me. Uh, sorry, uh, you people that have devoted your lives to that. Ecology, a special disappointment for me. Who can dislike ecology? And I don't. 
but I really think Eugene Odom and Howard T. Odom wrote the book on it, and and there just hasn't been that much added. But you run into ecological modeling, that's great, energetics, yeah, that's more thermodynamics, ecological energetics, you know, putting the two together, it's like all these terms came out. Uh, energies, the language for dealing with energy flows, yes, that's very good. I don't think any of them were any further along than my own work of Wedge's Paradigm. It's one of the things I wanted to see, I wanted to get somebody to pass judgment on Wedge's Paradigm. Uh, I, I know as a, t a couple of these authorities glimpsed at it. Uh, Dennis Meadows outright said there's nothing new there. Uh, uh, Robert Ayers, he misread it and thought it was Wedge's paradox. And, and uh, he, he tried a little bit. He, he was very helpful. He was, he was energy, uh, emergy, exergy. I mean, all these new terms didn't change a thing. Macroecology, yeah, sure. I'm sure that's right. But all that does is talk around the, the dire situation, and it has not managed to have enough effect. That's my, that's my charge. They did not make enough change. Uh, graph theory, you know, eventually I turn to that. Well, Wedge's paradigm is a, is a graph, it's a, it's a drawing. Where's the cutting edge on that? And I think I found it. Diego Garlaschelli, I think, Lorentz Institute in Leider, or Leader in uh, uh, Netherlands. Uh, tried to contact him, he didn't get back. As near as I could tell, his his work was f f good. It was fine, but but it wasn't uh, any better, or maybe not as good as we despaired of. History, I'm a little bit more feeling more kindly toward that. Joseph Tainter, uh, I think he's worth listening to his lecture. Uh, uh, you know, on on the likelihood or the necessity of a, of a of a of a collapse. Uh, a social collapse to occur. A man named Daniel Immerar is a history teacher who was very kind to me and guided me in different ways uh, and I found some sources because of him. Uh, uh, I should show, I did show you biophysical, I think I showed yeah, biophysical ecology. Uh, t these history teachers and also uh, I think it was uh, a teacher of my apprentice led me to uh, John Gimple, The Medieval Machine which I read recently, Lynn White, uh, Medieval Technology and Social Change. I enjoyed them. Uh, they were wonderful. So I'm feeling much more kindly uh, toward them. But as far as being useful for me uh, to, to continue with Hydra, they, they, uh, they are not there. So that was pretty ugly. <laughs> but it sure did clean the, the slate up. And now I'm ready to see. All right, so what's left of Hydra's many heads that that I I can still maybe become friendly with bye for now